Welcome to World Craft Logistic. My name is Jimmy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete our company POA or power of attorney. So we're going to start out with uh, box number one um, right here. You're going to put in your company name. And if you are doing a uh, business as, it's going to be DBA um, WCL. So for us, if we were to do business as WCL, we would do uh, WCL. So another example would be uh, Bank of America also do business as BOA, but if you don't have a B, uh, DBA, you don't have to worry about that. Just put in your company name. And if you are going to import the cargo uh, in as an individual or personal cargo, you will put in your name. So for me, I'd be Jimmy Tran. But in this video, we're going to put Worldcraft Logistic. Next is going to be your company address. So this is where your company is registered, the address where your company is registered. It's not where you purchase your cargo, store your cargo, or sell your cargo, but where your company is uh, registered. So if your company is uh, registered with the IRS, for example, make sure that this address match, okay? And then make sure to have your telephone number and email. Um, if you're gonna do shipment that uh, is uh, FDA related, make sure you have this and plus we need this to contact you anyways so make sure you complete that uh, next one is the type of business you have so if you have a corporation you click corporation if you are individual or personal cargo then you click individual uh, for us we are a LLC so we're gonna have limit liability company or LLC next box is gonna be where your company is registered at so for us we are registered in California if you are registered in Shanghai, just go ahead and put the city, Shanghai. If you're registered in London, go ahead and put, you know, London, okay? Uh, London, UK. Next one is number five. This one right here is uh, an EIN number. So if you are a company that is uh, in the U.S., uh, you could obtain an EIN number. It's completely free. Don't pay anybody. It's completely free. It takes about five to ten minutes, and you get it instantly. Uh, if you need the link, ask us. We could, we could provide you the link. Um, if you are a company that's outside the U.S., you could also get an EIN number for free. Uh, it's optional, but it's free. Um, I mean, it's optional, like optional for you to get. But if you want to get it, it's free. You have to fax it in, wait about two or three days. And if uh, they are not busy, sometimes you could call in, wait on the phone for like 45 minutes. And sometimes they give it to you. If they're busy, they're gonna tell you, no, we, we don't have time for that. And you know, you have to wait two to three days. It really depends on how busy they are. And if you are gonna import your cargo in as an individual uh, that is in the US, which means that you will have a social security number, go ahead and import your social security number. If you are a foreigner, you won't have a social security number. So you cannot, um, you know. You cannot import. Uh, imp you cannot input this part in. However, with a foreign company and a foreign individual importer, there's a third option. It's called custom assigned number. So we could import your cargo in by getting you a custom assigned number. So with this, you don't need an EIN number or a social security number. With this number, we could import your cargo in for you. Some company charge $75 to $200 for us. Since you're going to be our client, it's completely free. So go ahead, just put, you know, we need custom assigned number. Our staff read this, our staff will know, and our staff will get it for you. Number six is CTPAD. So for this right here is basically what it is, is custom trade partnership against terrorism. Um, you, uh, most likely, uh, you don't need it. This is for a big company that feel they need to get certified. It's very difficult to get certified and the, the, the cost to get it certified, it's like you would have to hire a person full time to like make sure that you are compliant. Like, you know, your front door is always locked. Your warehouse is always locked. Uh, if people want to go into your building, they got to get their buzz in. They got to be signed in. You know, there, there's a, there's everyone need background check. It's it's like everyone in your company background check. So the the cost to maintain CT Pat it's it's really expensive. Uh, well, not really expensive, but it's it's for a small company. 
you don't need it. Okay, so just go ahead and click no. And then number seven is ACH. So this is for a company that do a lot of uh, shipment in the U.S. That's high duty. So instead of paying the custom broker and the custom broker pay um, custom for you, or you know you pay us and we pay custom broke uh, the U.S. custom. What it is is U.S. custom will link uh, directly to your bank account, and whenever they need to pull money from your bank account, they just pull the money from your bank account. Um, if you're gonna do, you don't do much shipment, and you do your cargo is not like garment, for example, that's like 16 to 20 percent duty. You don't need to do it. Just skip this part. Just, just, just put no. Okay. Next one is gonna be uh, your company name. So for us, we'll put Worldcraft Logistic right here. And if you are an individual, you don't have to do it. Just go ahead and print your name right down here with your signature. And then if you are a company, then of course you need to put, you know, what kind of title you have. So right here, if you are a CEO, just put CEO. If you're a CFO, put CFO. For me, I'm gonna put member. Okay. And then next you have the date. Okay. So this right here, number 10, is gonna apply to um, individual US, um, pretty much US company, okay? Um, so right here, you don't have to fill it out, just take this to uh, a notary and they will do it for you. Uh, I know that some UPS store, they do it for like $10. So uh, find a notary in your area and do it. This is required by the US government. Uh, if your car goes in a rush and you need us to clear custom for you, no problem. We could do it for you without the notary, but uh, please get it notarized and email it to us. And uh, if you are planning to pay with a credit card, we will need it to be notarized uh, because um, we need to certify you are who you are. Okay. Um, next one is corporate uh, number eleven. I'm sorry, number eleven is for corporate corporation. So here, um, I find this uh, and for U.S. company only. Um, I find this a little bit difficult because a lot of people they start out their business and it's like a single man or a woman uh, company where they don't have a, a second witness, right? So for this right here, it's not required by me. It's required again by the U.S. government. So what you need to do is you need to either ask your friend, your girlfriend, your wife, you know, somebody you know to certify. For you that you are the person that's pretty much you need a witness okay and they this witness needs to have a title in your company so in our case we asked Michael Jackson we're like hey Michael you know can you be our secretary so Michael's like yeah man I'll be your secretary so right here Michael Jackson is the secretary of my company uh, he's a great dancer but now he decided to be a secretary of my company so he's um you know he's a secretary and he's certified at Worldcraft Logistic located in California Jimmy Tran is uh, right here. The person that signed this, or you know, your name, right here. Uh, Jimmy Tran is the CEO, right? And then the date, the year, the city, the date, the year, and then Michael Jackson would you know sign right here. So you know, if you have your friend, uh, your wife, your girlfriend help you out, go ahead and take them out. So for us, we're gonna take Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson out for dinner. You know. Thank them, you know, they help you out, okay? So next one is gonna be number 12. Number 12 is gonna be for non-resident. So if you are not registered in the US or, or you are not in the US, you need to fill this out, okay? So number one is gonna be, sorry, it's gonna be your name. So um, I guess, you know, it, it's gonna be Jimmy Tran, okay? Uh, delete that, okay? Your title, so uh, it could be like CEO, okay, sorry, CEO, and then your company name, so uh, I guess uh, your company name, okay, and then again, this is going to be your name, uh, and then the date, and then right here is going to be Worldcraft Logistic, which is my company name, the, the fate forwarder that's clearing your cargo, and we are known to be a fate forwarder. And then again, your name, your company name right here. Okay. Sorry, this part I have to mix it up a little bit is because I can't put World Crowd Logistic, World Crowd Logistic because it just confuse people. So let's do it again. It's going to be your name right here, your title, your company name, 
your name, the date, and then right here is going to be Worldcraft Logistic, a fit forwarder, and then your company name, and then USA, and then your signature, the date, your name, your title. Okay, and then number 13, we're going to need your photo ID or driver license or passport to certify that you are who you are and the person that signed these documents. And um, that's it. That's pretty much how uh, our POA is completed. This POA uh, is needed so that we could handle your cargo, clear custom for you, and um, you know, pretty much US custom require us to have this in, rec in record for us to handle your cargo. Um, with so this right here, do the best that you can. Email to our staff. If you miss any information, we will definitely go back and help you out. But um, you know, just just do the best that you can. Just email it over because we you know we need it, and uh, it's a it's, we need to fill this out one time only. Um, you know, we update it uh, once once in a while, like years. You know, we don't. So when we do update it, we will ask you to fill it out. So. That's it. Uh, and you have any question, please feel free to email us or call us. And then we are looking forward uh, to doing uh, business with you.